Hello everyone, welcome back. It's great to see you here again. Thank you so much for continuous support. I have a very sensitive, vulnerable, but yet important topic for you today. And we're going to talk about sexless marriage and how does it affect men and women emotionally, mentally, physically. And also how to spot that, how to spot early on that this relationship um, is not affectionate enough and will lead to sexless marriage. Of course, I based my videos on your requests and on what's going on uh, with my subscribers, followers, clients in their personal life. Uh, so there is no point of uh, just making videos that are interesting for me. So I hope that would be useful and helpful for you. So let's talk about the harm, the damage that sexless, sexless relationship brings to men and women. And what can be done and once again how you can spot that or avoid that i feel that when you are in a committed relationship you know when you made your choice and you are intentionally staying with this person you're sharing a lot of things you're sharing your physical space, you're sharing um, social life together, you're sharing responsibilities together. Sex is one of those things where the couple can recharge and reconnect and release the stress and speak the love language once again. Because when we just meet, that is very often the driving force but then when life kicks in and children and jobs and responsibilities a lot of time that part of life the intimate part of life is kicked to the curb and uh, in the best case scenario um it's something that is left at the very end and at least one of the partner is dread the idea of it or <laughs> Maybe both. When there are major disagreements and major resentment, very often it's both people in a couple becoming indifferent to each other and it's this unhealthy situation is just becoming normal. But let's consider the circumstance where there is one person that really requires affection, attention, and not getting it. I feel that for men, since the sex is like survival mechanism and it's something that is so important, it's almost the um, denial of, of the masculinity and of acceptance and that feeling that you must be less than a man. You know, you must be less than who you are and that is a very very painful thought that as far as I understand many men can have if they are denied affection and love and passion and if that is happening daily that frustration builds up to an incredible resentment and this is where a lot of men are looking for affairs on the side but um, that's only makes things worse. I feel that sexless relationship is basically a trap. It's a trap and not being able to resolve it, not being able to connect with the other person, not being able to see the future, see how that mechanism, that machine can start working by machine i mean the whole relationship thing because once you deny the most one of the most essential um 
physical, emotional, spiritual connection with a woman, uh, you're basically like a robot or a robot. <laughs> well, you know, the almost like a, a system that just moving through the day mechanically, but you not, it's hard for you to be present, to open up, and also your self-esteem is just going down on the ground. You just feel that, you feel completely disconnected and rejected. Uh, from the female perspective, you know, when that is a female that is not getting love and support, from the husband and also is not passionate anymore he's, he does not openly desire her uh, she, she also feel it's a huge um, punch in the gut for her femininity uh, for her livelihood feeling uh, vibrant and beautiful because that is also that essential, you know, sun and water for the flower is gone. You can always spot a woman that is um, having a good life or a couple that having a good sexual relationship. They don't talk about it, but they shine and they vibrate on this high level and they connect and they, they always have a chance or find a chance to, to touch each other. They always connect. And um, I think that denying that connection is detrimental to the relationship. It absolutely is. And if you are in a sexless relationship, uh, you have to put some work in to see if you can make things happen. Um, I hope for everybody to realize that this is not okay. It's not about the age. It's not about um, it's not about sex itself. It means that something is major. There is a um, terribly flawed relationship, and it will keep bringing you down. So I just want to share this uh, for my Patreons. We're going to be talking more about sexual things here on Patreon. And uh, I just hope that all of you um, understand and open up and share your experiences. I believe that if two healthy people require that connection, um, and they don't have it in their relationship. That relationship is flawed and it requires work to repair if possible, or if not, um, they have to take a decision what they wanna do, how they see their life in uh, certain years from now, how they see the connection, because uh, absence of sex just means complete disconnect. And in my next video, we're going to talk about the children and family and a bigger perspective. So that's all I want to share today. Don't ignore those things. Don't ignore those signs. If you just met a lady and she's um, not that into you, there is something is wrong. Something is wrong. And it's not going to get better. Because when we meet, we have the highest, the highest drive towards each other. So that's all I got to say. More is coming. Thank you so much.